Hello, hello, hello. Grandma Pepper here. I am on my way from picking up dinner, uh, Chinese food, a long, long, long ways away from home, but so worth it. The good, the food is just way too good. Um, yummy, yummy. So I am currently on my way home from picking up the food and it smells so good in my car. I'm, I'm dying right now. So, um, I don't know why I decided to start a video. Um, yeah, I've been just a little, running a little crazy lately. Um, my videos have been really weird. Um, they've been really sporadic. You know, I've missed days putting out content. And, you know, I just, I really don't like the content that I've been putting out lately. Um, you know, the oddball videos that are just really about nothing. Um, yeah, it's just, I don't know. I, this new work schedule that I've got, um, my work schedule changed twice. And my hours increased twice. And so, it's been a little... A little difficult to find the time to really prep and get my life in order from the week because like during the week I'm working so many hours that I just simply don't have the time to get anything done for myself during the week and then um, since my hours increased in September um, two hours a day, Monday through Friday, it really makes a big difference when you're already working a lot of hours. Um, when, so going from nine and a half hours to 11 and a half hours at one job, um, two different work sites, but one job, 11 and a half hours, that doesn't leave a lot of room in the day, uh, to do other things. I also have another full-time job that I used to do eight hours a day, Monday through Friday. Um, the, and it ended up being like more like nine hours, Monday through Friday. Um, but instead of being nine hours, Monday through Friday, I am actually working that job. Um, it's always been seven days a week, but I just took the time on Sundays as unpaid. Well, now I'm, you know, barely working 42, 43 hours for that person a week. Whereas, you, you know, used to be putting in between 45 and 50 and, you know, 5, 10 hours was not paid. So it's really odd for me to not be working those hours for him. And he's kind of put back. He, he's not he's not liking the fact that I'm not available to him um, like I used to be. And not that, you know, he's just lonely. You know, it's not that he needs the extra care. It's just that he's lonely. And I'm spending less time with him during the week. You know, anywhere from three to eight hours less. And he doesn't like that. And I understand that. I really do. Oh, the sun is really messing with my screen. So anyway, um, you know, so I just wanted to apologize for um, my, uh, you know, my videos just not being the quality um, that they normally are. And I think I would rather cut back on the number of videos that I'm doing rather than cut, you know, rather than to continue putting out, you know, these oddball videos that are just space fillers. Um, you know, the lost videos, yeah, that was a little funny, but it was really, you know, I watched it later and I'm like, um, yeah, that was really boring and I didn't like it. So yeah, I'm just gonna cut back on the videos that I do 
um, and just put out the quality videos that are about prepping. And, um, you know, my remodel for my garage is almost done, so that will be nice. Um, that's a big project that takes a lot of time. And um, so then I'm, we're going to get into my prep room as soon as my garage is done. And I think one more Saturday, and you know, which will be next Saturday, and I think I will have it all finished up. I'm excited. And um, so then, and I'm also rearranging my prepper pantry. I don't like the way it flows. I don't like the way it works. Um, I don't like the space constrictions. And I don't like the Ikea cabinets in there. I, I just really don't like them. So one at a time, I will be pulling those Ikea cabinets out and replacing them with different cabinets and I'll be rearranging I, I'm hoping they'll fit I'm going to be rearranging two of my other shelving units hopefully putting them on the back wall so we'll see I, I'm not 100% sure how that's going to work out and I definitely need to attach my shelving units to the walls I have them attached to each other but not to the walls so those are my two upcoming big projects but I need to get the garage done first and I apologize for my raspy voice there's still a lot of smoke in the air and a lot of ash and I'm having a real hard time breathing and a real hard time talking so I, I am really sorry um so yeah I gotta get the garage done before the weather turns um you know all of the you know moving everything around and getting every, everything placed where it's gonna be I can fill the drawers you know on warmer days later in the later in the fall but you know the stuff that I have to have the garage door open for so that I can move around and so forth I got to have that garage door open and be able to move things in and out and um, I can't do that when it's cold outside so these $81 or $81 oh my goodness thinking about dinner <laughs> yeah it cost me $85 for dinner um, Chinese food feeding an army um, but the 81 degree day today temperature wise Fahrenheit has been really 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 nice I got a lot done in the garage and I feel finally like I made some accomplishments out there in my remodel this year because last year I put in the cabinetry this year uh, my workbench and the cabinets and um, the floor of the garage this year are my main focus and then the remodel will be done so excited so happy and then it's just the nitpick get everything put where I want it and I will change my mind a million times. It just, it is what it is. And I do it every time. Change my mind. So funny. All right, well, um, I'm gonna get home and get this food on the table and feed everybody. And be fat and full and enjoy the rest of my Saturday. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. And hope you have a great week. And I love y'all.